Hi, I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today I'm going to show you how to embroider on some ribbon without an embroidery machine. Crazy, right? You can use this embroidered trim for straps on a bag, some trim on the hem of a dress, maybe the waist of a dress, or you could even just put your name on it and use it as tags in the back of your garments. So cool, right? You could put just text on the ribbon, you could put just decorative stitches on the ribbon, you could even mix a combination of the two. So whatever design you want, I'm gonna show you how to embroider it on the ribbon without an embroidery machine or an embroidery unit on your machine. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following along on my sewing adventures. For this project, you're going to need some ribbon and you're going to need some magnets. I like using these embroidery hoop magnets. You could also use some seam gauge magnets as well. Today I'm going to be using the Designer Epic 2 by Husqvarna Viking, but you can use any sewing machine that has fonts in it or decorative stitches. The first thing we need to do is figure out our design. So let's head over to the front of the sewing machine and pick out the design that we'd like to embroider on our ribbon. I'm going to select the block alphabet. Now I can go ahead and type in whatever I want to say. I'm going to say, I love sewing. So I space L-O-V-E space sewing space. So this phrase is going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating unless you tell it not to. And if you wanna just do this once, you can go ahead and hit stop. And then it'll just embroider, I love sewing just one time. But if you want it to keep repeating and repeating for straps or trim, don't hit stop and it'll just keep continuing. So whatever machine you have and whatever design you've selected to be embroidered onto the ribbon, we are now ready to go. So let's set up the magnets and the ribbon and make this happen. First thing you wanna do is put your ribbon under the foot and see how far it's sticking out on the right and the left side. Then you're gonna grab your magnet for either embroidery or for your seam allowance and you're gonna place it right next to the edge of the ribbon on the right and on the left side. And if you need to, you can use more than one magnet on the side. So maybe you wanna go ahead and place another one down here at the bottom. I might even scoot this one up and see if I can fit one more magnet down here as well. So now what we've done is we've created a track for this ribbon. And that's the magic of this. You can set it up and walk away. So I was creating all these tote bags last year to give out and spread the love of sewing. And I was embroidering on the handles. And I was so tired of sitting in front of the sewing machine and watching this embroider and embroider and embroider. So I came up with this method of putting the magnets on the side of the machine and letting the ribbon or the trim just guide itself through the machine. And it works so awesome. I love this technique so much. I feel genius for inventing this. So let's give it a go and embroider this ribbon. Okay, let's go. Check it out, we have logoed embroidered ribbon and I wasn't even touching it or having to do anything on my own. It was just doing it itself, so cool, right? The thing I love about this is that you can just sit there and it does it for you or you can just hang out and do something else and it's sewing your ribbon. If you try this out at home, make sure you tag me in your photos so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. If you have any questions on how to do this or set it up on your machine, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know how you would use this technique in your projects. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching Zoe Anastasia. And if you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all those fabulous social media websites, make sure you follow along so that way we can stay connected and creative. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.